Hello, I'm Marie Lozano, and welcome to Cityscape. Stick around for Ref's signature scent. Studies have shown that our sense of smell is closely linked with memory and emotions. And at a time when making our own mark in the world is crucial, a signature scent can boost one's image and recall. Enter Scent Studio. It's one of the first fragrance studios in the Philippines where you get to create your own cologne, perfume, or essential oil blend. BC, the mother company of Scent Studio, has been around since the Multiply days, and with its founder Bernadette Lim growing up with a love for perfume. Basically, the concept is um, I wanted to do something that wasn't being done by any other perfume brand yet. And being a supplier of fragrances and being someone who has knowledge in the technical aspect of the fragrance industry, um, I wanted to teach people to just see us. You can do a quick perfume making session just so you can also identify like, oh, I, I, I didn't know that I like this kind of scent. Pala. Parang it's more of a discovery thing. So I know people who are interested in fragrances talaga, but there are some who have no idea what they like. So this one is really experimental, like if you want to try different kinds of fragrances, you can come in. While they have ready-made broom and linen sprays, blended essential oils, soy candles, and aromatic diffusers, the fragrance bar is really the highlight of the store. Bernadette, who grew up with a love of perfume, put up the store with a dream of sharing her passion with people and to encourage them to try creating their own fragrances. She trained under a British perfumer and received certifications from Fragrance Foundation in New York. Under her guidance, the well-trained staff are capable of guiding you through the steps of making your perfect scent. Whether you're one who knows what specific type of scent you prefer or someone who doesn't have a preference at all, Scent Studio will help you find your personal blend. Honestly, um, the preferences of Filipinos nowadays, I, I think medyo nagiging mas diversified na. Um, they're veering away from the designer sense. They're starting to look at niche fragrances. When I say, when I say niche fragrances, look, brands that are small scale, artisan, small batch, um, more creative. I'm starting to get excited with how the fragrance business will look like in the next few years. Because um, people are more aware now of their preferences and sense. They also do workshops here, sometimes even partnering with local entrepreneurs to teach those who want to learn the business or those who simply want to deepen their knowledge of fragrance. Creating your custom scent is fairly easy. Bernadette advises you to take your time and go through each category available. Start picking which size and formulation you want to create. Cologne, EDT, perfume, or essential oil. Then, go through the fragrance wheel to profile your scent. Smelling different options will take a while, especially if you really want to explore uncommon combinations. But once you've settled on your top, middle, and bottom notes, they'll add the appropriate measurements and mix it in. Don't worry if you don't like the initial blend, quite a few customers adjust their blend several times before arriving at the scent they want. You have the choice of picking a carrier oil like grapeseed as base or the more common alcohol. Here at Sand Studio, they use sugarcane alcohol instead of petroleum-based ones. Write down your formula in their formulation sheet. So when your perfume runs out, they'll have a file of the exact blend you used. After you've made your own perfume, let it sit for two weeks to give time for the oils to mix and mature. You can pop it in the fridge to hasten the process. If you try to make fragrances DIY style, it's best if you don't use fragrances when you mix, just so you don't interfere with your nose. And so the best way to clear your nose is not through coffee beans, but to actually sniff your skin. So you can sniff your forearm, resets your nose. It's really best if you have an open mind. Because if you, if you have parang a certain preference and you stick to that, lang, you won't be as creative. But if you're open to different, um, to smelling different notes, syempre, you, you get a more wide range of notes that you can work with. Sense Studio formally opened last March 2019. And since then, they've been encouraging creative fragrance exploration. While the experience of making your own signature fragrance is amazing in itself, 
We believe that it is in how studios like these broaden our knowledge of the infinite scent possibilities and make the trip up north worthwhile. After the break, we're visiting a milk bar and 